Hello and welcome to each one of you to this new session of online lesson. Without further ado, let's begin. Today we're going to look at memory storage devices and media. So first of all, what is storage? Storage is a general term covering all units of computer equipment used to store data and programs. The different units of storage, we have the bit, the smallest unit of storage, which can be either 0 or 1. We have the byte, which is a group of 8 bits used to represent one character. The kilobyte is used to, uh, in data storage which is equal to 1024 bytes. The megabyte is a unit of storage used to store data which is equal to 1024 kilobytes. The gigabyte is a unit of storage used in data storage which is equal to 1024 megabytes. And the terabyte is a unit of storage used in data storage which is equal to 1024 gigabytes. Uh, next we have a table displaying these different uh, conversions between the byte, kilobytes, megabyte, and gigabyte. Okay, now for storage, we got normally three different categories of storage. The first one is known as the primary memory or storage. It is accessible by the CPU directly. It is the main memory in a computer system. It is faster than secondary storage. Generally, primary memory refers to the RAM of the system. Example include RAM and ROM. Now, the second category of uh, storage is known as a secondary storage. It is a non-volatile memory that is used by the computer to have more storage space. Data in this memory remains as it is even when the computer is powered off. The data in it also remains unchanged until it is deleted or modified. It is also known as auxiliary or external memory store data and program. Examples include hard disk drive HDD and solid state drive SSD. Offline storage. This is the last category of storage devices. It refers to the storage device that need to be inserted to the computer system in order to access, edit, or delete the data. This type of storage is generally used to transport a data file and to take up a backup of important data. Examples include removable HDD, SSD, DD, flash drive, CD, Blu-ray, and so on. ROM, read-only memory. ROM holds the instruction for starting up the computer. This type of memory can only be read and cannot be altered, that is, deleted or written to, and is non-volatile, that is, does not lose its content when the computer is switched off. It should be noted that ROM is an example of primary memory slash storage. RAM, Random Access Memory. This is a volatile memory, that is, its content are lost when the computer is switched off. A user can write or delete data as well as read the contents. Before a program can be run, it must first be loaded into RAM, which allows the CPU to access a program. We have two types of RAM. Firstly, static RAM. Static RAM is one which holds its memory as long as there is power supply. And the second one is dynamic RAM. Dynamic RAM is one which needs to be refreshed by reading and writing the contents very frequently. Dynamic RAM is more widely used than static RAM because it needs less power. It should be noted that RAM is an example of primary memory or storage. The difference between RAM and ROM. The ROM is volatile, ROM is non-volatile. We can read from ROM and uh, read from and write to ROM. We can read from ROM, but nothing can be written to it. The ROM is uh, the memory available for the operating system, program, and processors to use when the computer is running. ROM is the memory that comes with the computer, which is pre-written to hold the instruction for booting up the computer. Magnetic media. The magnetic media is a type of storage, a uh, type of medium that we use for storage. So magnetic media are used to store data in the form of magnetic pattern on hard disk or a magnetic tape. So hard disk drive, a hard disk drive, HDD, is a data storage device used for storing and retrieving digital information using rapidly rotating disk, known as platters, coated with man magnetic material. And HDD retains its data even when the power is switched off. Data is read in random access manner, meaning individual blocks of data can be stored or retrieved in any order rather than just sequ sequentially. And HDD consists of one or more rigid hard rapid rotating disk with magnetic heads arranged on a moving actuator arm to read and write data to the surfaces. It should be noted that HDD is an example of secondary storage device. Solid state drive. 
A solid state drive is a data storage device using integrated circuits assemblies as memory to store data persistently. SSD technology uses electronic interfaces compatible with traditional block input hard disk drive, thus permitting simple replacement in common application. Also, new I.O. interfaces like SATA Express are created to keep up with the speed of advancement in SSD technology. SSD have no moving mechanical parts. This distinguishes them from traditional electromechanical magnetic disks such as HDDs or floppy disks, which contain spinning disk and movable read-write head. Compared, to, compared with electromechanical disks, SDDs are typically more resistant to physical shock, run silently, have a lower access time and less latency. However, the price of SDDs has continued to decline. In 2012, SDDs are still about two, seven to eight times more expensive per unit of storage than HDDs. Should be noted that SDD is an example of secondary storage device. Optical disk. An optical disk is a flat, usually circular, circular disk, which encodes binary data bits in the form of bits, binary value of zero or off due to lack of reflection when read. When uh, a lens uh, on a special material, often aluminium, on uh, one of its surfaces. A laser beam is used on these lens and bits in order to read data found in it. The types of optical disc we have the CD, the compact disc. The compact disc or CD is an optical disc used to store da digital data. It is originally developed to store and play back sound recording only, but the format was later adapted for storage of data. CD is an example of offline storage device. DVD. DVD is a type of compact disc that holds 4.7 GB of information, eight times more than a normal CD. DVDs are emerging as a standard way to play films and are becoming increasingly common for distributing software applications. It is very likely that they may be gradually replacing CDs in computer. DVD is an example of offline storage device. Blu-ray. Blu-ray is an optical device storage medium designed to supersede the DVD format. The plastic disc is 120mm in diameter and 1.2mm thick, which is the same size as a DVD and CD. Blu-ray discs contain 25 GB per layer, with dual layer 50 disc, dual layer disc 50 GB being the industry standard for feature-length video disc. It should be noted that Blu-ray is an example of offline storage device. USB flash memory. The USB flash memory is a non-volatile computer storage technology that can electronically erase and reprogram. It is primarily used in memory cards, uh, USB flash drives, and solid-state drives for general storage and transfer of data between computer and other digital products. Advantages: is small and lightweight, thus can be easily transported. Large storage capacity, no moving parts, so very reliable. Not subject to scratches like optical media. Disadvantages, their small size means they can be lost easily. They're often left by mistake in the computer, therefore get lost easily. They have a they don't have a high access speed compared to magnetic hard drives. It should be noted that flash drives are an example of offline storage device. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe, click on the thumbs up and leave a comment on how the channel can be improved. Until then, see you guys next time.